Hello everyone, welcome back to my English grammar course. In the latest video, we already study about verb, right? So before starting today's lesson, I would like you to tell me what a verb is. So what is a verb? Right, a verb is a word that expresses the existence of state or the doing of an action carried out by the subject of a sentence. Right? So a verb can be a single word, can be a multi-word word, and those words express the existence of state or the doing of an action carried out by the subject or a sentence. Right? Okay. For example, to speak, to read, to write, to run, and to walk. So this word expresses the doing of an action, right? Anyway, some verb do not express the doing of action, but they express the existence of state. For example, like love, like, hate, need, and want. So this word do not express doing of action, but they just express the exist existence of state, right? They are sometimes known as state verb, okay? And some verb can be uh, a group of word, can be two or three words together, and they are known as verb as well. For example, uh, my car runs out of gas. So run and oh. This word consists of three different words. Run and oh, right? The other one is look after. For example, Mary looks after her old mother. So look after is called also a verb, right? It is multiple word verb. Okay, so today we are going to study more about verb. I will help you distinguish two different kinds of verb in English. So there are two main kinds of verb in English, namely a finite verb and non-finite verb. So what is a finite verb and what is a non-finite verb? We will study and learn how to distinguish between these two kinds of verb in this video. Okay? So Let's begin. Okay, a finite verb is a verb that is conjugated according to the subject or the time. That means a verb that is controlled by the number of subject, singular or plural, or by the time of action, past, present, or future is called a finite verb. For example, when the, the verb is in present simple and the subject is third person singular he, she, or it, the verb must take an e, es, or i, es ending, right? And when the verb is in past simple, the verb must take the, ed, or ied ending. Or some verb is irregular, so it has to be changed in spelling. Is it? Okay, this is called finite verb. Okay, what about non finite verb? Non-finite verb is a verb that is not conjugated according to the subject or the tense. That means the verb that is not controlled by the subject singular or plural or by the time of action, present, past, or future. But non-finite verb is various form of a verb that is used as a noun, adjective, or an adverb 
So non-finite verb are sometimes known as verb ball. Verb ball means the form of verb that is used as a noun, adjective, or an adverb. Alright? Okay, so for the next part, I'm going to show you example of finite verb and non-finite verb all together at the same time in five sentences. So take a look carefully at the five sentences as example. Okay? One. Today, she wants to go. Two. Today, they want to go. Three. Today, he wants to go. Four. Yesterday, he wanted to go. Five. Tomorrow, he will want to go. In these five sentences, you can see the word want or once or wanted. So word one in each of the five sentences are finite verb because the verb is under control of subject singular or plural or under control of the time of action. It is changed when the subject is changed and the verb is also changed when the tense is changed. So, want is a finite verb. However, the verb go in each of the five sentences is a non-finite verb because the verb go remains the same even though the number of subject is changed or the time of action is changed. So verb go remain the same. You got a point? So I hope that you can distinguish between finite and non-finite. Okay? Once again, <coughs> once again, finite verb is a verb that is conjugated according to the subject or according to the tense. That means the verb that is controlled by number of subject or by the time of action is called finite verb. Non-finite verb is a verb that is not conjugated according to the subject or the tense. That means the verb that is not controlled by number of subject or by time of action is called non-finite verb. But non-finite verb is various form of verb that is used as a noun, adjective, or adverb. Okay? Okay, I have something more to tell you about finite and non-finite. Finite verb consists of five kinds of verb. One, finite verb can be transitive verb. Two, it can be intransitive verb. And three, finite verb can be impersonal verb. Four, finite verb can be linking verb. And five, finite verb can be special verb. In modern English, special verb are known as auxiliary verb. Okay, so this is the last kind of finite verb which is the most difficult for a student to learn. It is a little bit complicated to study about special verb or auxiliary verb. Okay, non-finite verb also consists of five kind of verb form. One, non-finite verb can be infinitive verb. Two, it can be gerund. Three, it can be participle. So participle consists of three different kinds of participle. One, present participle. Two, past participle. And three, perfect participle. So non-finite verb also consists of five kinds of verb form. Infinitive, gerund, present participle, past participle, and perfect participle. I hope that you can distinguish between finite and non-finite.
Okay, in the following lesson, we will study more specifically about each kind of finite and non-finite. So that's all for today's lesson. And I hope you have understood very well. If you have got any question, ping me a comment and I'll try my best to answer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and follow my page if you wish to get more video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.